change the walk. Change the walk? Gordon have two walk? Oh my god. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Niece and nephew, when you surf the internet, everybody can spy on you. When Uncle Roger steal Wi-Fi from coffee shop, all the hacker can take Uncle Roger personal information, like my credit card, my bank account, and my belt phone case. I use ExpressVPN to stay safe. Uncle Roger also use ExpressVPN to unblock content. I live in UK, Netflix UK, so many movies not on there. So sometimes I use ExpressVPN change my country. I tricked Netflix into thinking I am watching from US and now I can watch my favorite documentary. Great British Bake Off. Uncle Roger used ExpressVPN on my phone. Open the app. The app only have one button. What app have one button? So simple. This is more simple than my calculator. You press the button and now you save. You can watch all the weird thing you want to watch, but don't be dirty. Don't use ExpressVPN like that. Find out how you can get 3 months ExpressVPN for free. Use the link in description below. ExpressVPN.com slash Uncle Roger. And now we start with Joe. Hello niece and nephew, it's Uncle Roger. Today is the big one. This one video, so many niece and nephew sent to me. One Uncle Roger to review Gordon Ramsay. Indonesian egg fried rice. Uncle Roger always listen to niece and nephew. So smack like now. Don't let Uncle Roger set smack like button now like how your parents smack you. Who is Gordon Ramsay? Let me see. Gordon Ramsay. He is British chef. Hiya, British chef again. Uncle Roger don't have high hope for this video. British chef let Uncle Roger down so many times now. They mess up egg fried rice. So simple dish. Egg fried rice only have three ingredients. Egg, fry and rice and you still mess up. I think Uncle Roger gonna hate this video. Right, uh, welcome back. I'm using eggs but some leftover rice to do. He say leftover rice? Oh! Okay, okay, first step correct. First step correct. Do a beautiful fried classic rice, the nasi goreng. This is. Oh, and he say nasi goreng. Nasi goreng is Indonesian word for fried rice. I think Gordon downloaded Duolingo. And look at the grains. The grains are huge. Okay, and this type of rice is only grown. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gordon. Yeah, touch the rice. Fill up the rice. Sorry, Uncle Roger got carried away. Been too long since Auntie Helen left. Because it takes on so much flavour. I'm gonna throw off the eggs first. Start this off. Again, we all have leftover rice. I want to know, Gordon, where are you filming this? It seems like you are in the middle of nowhere. Like stranded on an island and then you suddenly decide to make fried rice. Why? Why you can't afford studio? Why you go deserted island, make fire rice? Is this cast away but for egg fire rice? Why are you here? To sort of sweeten everything up. And because everything moves so fast, you need to be super ready. So I'm going to quickly just chop the chilies. Actually, I like that Gordon cooking outside. Many Asian people, we have two kitchen. Outside kitchen and we have indoor kitchen. Indoor kitchen, useless. Only to impress guests. If guests come, we go indoor kitchen, chop mango, that's it. But if we use outside kitchen, then when you know real food coming. If you go visit some Asian people house and they only make food for you with inside kitchen, they don't like you. Go away. They want you to fuck off. You need to sort of get some heat in there. Over that, I'm gonna start grating. Okay, the galangal. I just want all that sort of... Galangal. Galangal is authentic Indonesian ingredient. Oh, he know about galangal. Not many white people know about galangal. A bad chef would just use ginger. Or even worse, chili jam. To the rice. But it's got a really nice dense sort of spicy chai feel. And those blossoms at the end. I think Gordon got every step right so far. Just one small thing. Maybe you need better skincare. You got all the good cooking skill. Maybe you need some moisturizer. But don't worry. Go ask Jamie Oliver for his wet rice. Put the rice on your face. Moisturize instantly. Right, whisk your eggs lightly. Look at the colour of those yolks. Beautiful. Get that all nice. Oh, and oh, oh, what I see? What I see? Lightly. Look at the colour of those yolks. Beautiful. Touch of all. 
Gordon Ramsay have a walk. The walk look chart on bottom. That means he used the walk before. Very nice. It's not like he know he need to make fire rice, then he buy a new walk. No, no, no. Nice and warm. Okay. I want to sort of get that round my walk. I also really like the stove he have. It's full of fire, this stove, and it looked like clay stove. It looks so heavy, and he cooking in middle of nowhere. That means he made a poor Indonesian guy carry this stove for him all the way to middle of deserted mountain. Uncle Roger, like, this is secret to good egg fire rice torture. torture. The cooking, as that starts to cook, let it set and then break it up again. Change the walk. Change the walk? Gordon have two walk? That is two more walk than all the British chefs out there. Oh my god. Even Uncle Roger at home, I only have one walk. Uncle Roger faithful to my one walk. But Gordon Ramsay is walk fuckboy. I get my rice in. Rice goes in. Beautiful. Now we start toasting that and frying that and mixing that. Ooh, so much wok, hey, I like. Okay, little touch of samba in the middle, fry that off, a little touch of the rangdang, or mainly the oil. Sambal and rendang, okay. Gordon Ramsay know his Indonesian ingredient. This is the correct red paste, not chili jam. I think Jamie Oliver went to Indonesia once he had sambal. And then he loved sambal and he remembered, oh, the thing is red paste. Come back to UK, he go to Marks and Spencer and he just buy any red paste he finds. Put in there. Get that literally frying off. Beautiful. And then... Sambal and rendang also very smart to put into egg fried rice because you can put all the MSG in your sambal. This is how we trick white people to eat MSG. Why you feel MSG? So weak. So weak. Many people say MSG bad for your body, but Uncle Roger say good food is better than body. Mix in. Look. Keep it nice and hot. Now, have you got any fish or chicken or even beef left over? Yes. Fish, chicken, beef. Gordon Ramsay, not vegan. Gordon, if you want to use chicken, use the chicken behind you. They are just right there. They right there. This chicken so stupid. Hiya. Chicken, if you want to stay alive, don't go near chef who's cooking egg fried rice. Keep the heat in the wok. Okay. Nice tossing. Give that a really good toss. It stops the rice from sticking together. Fuyo, that is good tossing. Fuyo is another Uncle Roger slang. Fuyo mean opposite of haya. You use haya when you disappointment. You use fuyo when you impress. Many niece and nephew asking Uncle Roger if it's okay to use the word haya in real life if they're not Asian. Is it racist? Uncle Roger say no, it's not racist. Everybody should use the word haya. Increase your vocabulary. You sad, you angry, you disappointed. All the emotion inside the word haya. Haya is the MSG of word. All the flavor inside. Your bus come late. Haya. You run out of milk. Haya. Your baby born with three arm. Haya. Doesn't matter if you Asian, white, black, or green. Everybody should use higher, especially green people. Green people need to use the most higher because your skin green, that is sad life. Higher, green again today, so sad. <laughs> and then, away. Ooh, another good tossing. This guy like suck to soleil but egg fried rice. Chill, 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 Gordon, relax. Why are you in such a hurry? You cook fire rice like you're running late for airport. That looks beautiful. Fried rice. Now. Oh no, oh no, Gordon. You left five grain of rice in your wok. Your mom coming to beat you up now. Now. That is rice to die for. It's fragrant. Why is he out of breath? Uh, is rice to die for. Ah. You bake fire rice, not running marathon. Uncle Roger, like, this is how you know egg fire rice good. If after cooking the fire rice, the chef looked like he got COVID. 
Mm. Let me know in the comments what you think of that. This is very impressive video. Maybe only thing he do wrong is use fork to eat his fried rice. Because in Southeast Asia, we all use spoon to eat rice. Nobody use fork. Fork is for salad and cake only. Good job. I like this guy. Uncle Roger gonna show Gordon respect and call him Uncle Gordon from now on. Let's see what else Uncle Gordon done in his life. Can you get his attention, please? Do something well done. Can you just shut the fuck up for 30 seconds? Don't whistle at me. I'm not your fucking child, yeah? You look more like a dog than I do. Oh my god, he yelled at customer too? This is amazing. Uncle Roger love yelling at customer also. Why you be with him so pussy? Can't even handle spice. Many people tell Uncle Roger, customer always right. And I say, no, Uncle Roger always right. I'm allergic to vegetarians. Oh, I, see. I come out in a rash <laughs> and my, my, my skin starts getting irritated. He hate vegetarian people also. Oh my God. No animal product. You saw so you go your life just eat leaf. Uncle Roger like yelling at vegan people because what can vegan people do? They too weak to punch you. Niece and nephew, go tell Uncle Gordon on Twitter, on Instagram, on TikTok, on everything. Uncle Roger want to collab with him. I want to taste his good egg fire rice with garlang gao. Uncle Roger approved. This is very good video. A plus plus plus. See you next week. Bye bye.